I don't feel that South Carolina is affordable. And I, I am anxious to hear what other people have to say. And I live in the downtown area, and I want to stay here, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to, and I don't know what my options are in Greenville. Uh, the market for land prices, you can buy much more house in this area than you can in a lot of other regions. But if you move out of here to someplace else, you, you're not able to afford much of a, a home on the other end of that. So. It's much cheaper than Spartanburg County to live than it is in Greenville County. So we actually chose a home in Spartanburg County just over the line for you know the cost of living. Now, considering what we've gone through in the economy and stuff like that, maybe it's time that we start thinking about sizing down not having all the crap that we get. You know, being closer to downtown, the proximity, with two buses run down Anderson and Green Avenue, where you can ride your scooter, your bike, or your walk. Build a, uh, you know, you might get a lot donated, you build the house for as, you know, as little as possible, but without major, major subsidies, you know, a single parent working, you know, not, not a minimum wage job, but a, you know, a little bit higher than that, uh, but somebody with a steady job and a steady income just can't afford even you know even the hundred thousand dollar house that that you're showing so they are coming but when we all talk about this it's like we think that there's nothing out there there is if we help make it happen our affordability is for family for about forty five thousand dollars a single person is about thirty two thousand dollars so when we get into the the issue of trying to attract professionals prof professionals can purchase homes uh, especially single professionals can purchase homes uh, built or developed by GCRA or any one of our nonprofits. You know, without incredible infusions of you know, public money, uh, we need wages to increase before a lot of folks can get out of rental and, and into home ownership. I think simultaneously, we need to also make sure that with those jobs, <coughs> you know, we're focusing on maintaining quality of life issues in this community so that this can continue to be a place that we all want, want to be. Washington Heights is a, an excellent example of folks who are able to be qualified at the bank for a first mortgage. I mean, it, it's it's not happening as fast as we would like it to, but it is it is happening. Um, so there's a huge opportunity there to provide affordable rental in Greenville County, um, and I think that's missed when we talk about affordable housing as an option in Greenville County. We haven't finished a house yet that hadn't been rented before we finished it. So uh, the need is definitely there. This wasn't by accident. There were some visionary leaders and folks who invested in planning for what we're you know, enjoying right now. And I think it's, it's really important that we start thinking about the next 10, 15, 20 years and, and how we want this community to look. We have got to get the private sector, the, the philanthropic sectors, all the sectors engaged in this issue in this community. There has to be a, an understanding of a sense of urgency now. Maybe an overall strategy of how getting the whole community engaged and how to be preserved and or restore our urban neighborhoods might be a, a good approach. We could use other resources, possibly even a, a, a citywide uh, task force that could work with, with the city and looking at how we can embrace these neighborhoods and ensure their success. Uh, thank you for being here and please call us with ideas. I have a dream today.